have never seen my teenage son so excited about a class before so I really wanted to make a video and tell you guys about this really neat class that he's taking. Hey friend, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler. We're gonna be talking about my 11th grade high schooler son's favorite class this year. I wanted to wait a couple of weeks to see how he liked it. We are currently going into week seven of our homeschool and he talks non-stop about this class. So a lot of his classes this year, he's doing online and I was not sure how it was going to go. <laughs> um, we've had a lot of classes online and offline, but I knew this was going to be a bit heavier of a class, even though it's technically an elective. I knew this was going to be a weighty class and I thought honestly he was going to hate it, but I wanted to give it a shot because it just, I, I don't know, like I had, I had a little nagging feeling to put him in this class. Really, really, really glad I did. So what is the class? This class is The Consequences of Ideas by R.C. Sproul, which is a philosophy class. I have so much to tell you about this class, but the most important thing is my 16 year old son's favorite class is philosophy. All he does is talk about this class, even when he's not in the class. He talks nonstop about philosophy and about all of these philosophers that he's learning about and about R.C. Sproul, which just, if you know anything about me, if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know R.C. Sproul is my absolute favorite theologian. I'm like the R.C. Sproul super fan. I collect all of his books. I take all of his classes. I'm on Ligonier Connect. I am an R.C. Sproul nut. And the fact that he loves R.C. Sproul now, I feel like I did something right as a parent. <laughs> I have to get him the Reform Thug Life R.C. Sproul coffee mug and then I'm gonna have to get myself a matching one because of course I do. <laughs> so anyway, that aside, this class is a weighty class. Now this is an elective course. He's taking, well, he's taking it as an elective course. So in most of the Compass Classroom classes and courses, you don't actually have to buy any of the books. This is one of those exceptions. You do need to actually buy one book and this is A History of Western Philosophy and Theology by John M. Frame. This is a theology book that my pastor actually read. My son has read a lot of theology stuff. Last year he read John Calvin's Institutes. This year he's reading the Frame theology book. And I mean, this, this is a doozy, guys. I'm quite impressed with his reading and comprehension of this book. This is, this is, it's like a college level course, guys. This is like an adult course. So the basics of the course, this is taught by R.C. Sproul in his old fashioned chalkboard ways. And you know, if you're familiar with R.C. Sproul, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm also going to have a coupon code down below. If you guys want to get 25% off this class, you can, I work in a, with a partnership with uh, Compass Classroom, so you guys can get 25% off of any of their courses. You just gotta get a code from my page and you can do that. I think it's like 25% off your first order or whatever. And I will have a link below down there for you to do that in the description box. Now, one of the things that I did notice about this class, and it's not a requirement, but it is important. My son and I both have noticed that it's very beneficial to take logic before you take philosophy because logic is going to go hand in hand with this course. And if you already have logic 101 under your belt, this class is going to be a little bit easier to understand because they are going to go through a lot of the concepts that they learn in the basic logic class. My son took logic through Canon Press, and if you have a Canon Plus account, the videos you can get on the Canon Plus app. They do have DVDs for that course too. My son really liked that logic class, and 
I guess now it kind of makes sense that he really likes philosophy because he really likes logic. So makes sense. I have been going through a stack of books every month and this just happened to be the book that I picked for this month, not realizing like, I, I guess like it just did not click or register to me until I was like within the first couple pages of it. The Consequences of Ideas is the actual name of the Compass Classroom class that he's taking. And when I realized that, I was like, oh, this is the book based on the class that you're taking. And now I feel so much more prepared. So what I'm doing as a parent to enhance the discussions of this class with my son, because he's so excited about it, I feel like I need to read up on all of this so I can have these conversations with him because he's so excited. I want to keep him going with this. And the only way that I'm going to be able to have a discussion with him about these philosophers is if I know what I'm talking about. So I have been reading along with him. He's not reading this book. He's actually the, the course on Compass Classroom is based upon R.C. Sproul's book. So basically he took his book that he wrote and each philosopher or each chapter in this book is like a video course. So he's got like a whole video on Aristotle and he's got a whole video on Plato. And you know, he's got certain chapters in here that are Plato and Aristotle and you know, so on and so on. So as my son is going through these videos, I'm watching the video with him and I am reading the chapter. Now, I'm not reading this book because I just don't have the time to read this mammoth of a book, but I am reading this one so at least I know what he's talking about and what concepts he's telling me about and the gist of the actual R.C. Sproul book. So if you are thinking about having your child in this class, I highly recommend for you to pick up this book. This will greatly help your understanding of the course and it will give you the basic 101 rundown of everything that they're learning. And it's easy because I can kind of stay one step ahead of him too. And I have the course on several different computers so I can just go ahead and listen to the videos like while I'm cooking and things like that. And that way when he's like, did you hear him say this about this philosopher, I can say, yes, what did you think of that? And then tell me about it. And then, you know, we can have like a full discussion on whatever it is that he's learning. So he's really, really enjoyed this class. I'm really happy for him. He's got, you know, a really great grade in this class too. Now I know what you're thinking, especially with this mammoth of a, of a theology book, like how, how are the tests? <laughs> the, the test for this class is open book and open notes. So he takes notes while he watches the RC Sproul videos and he takes notes as he's reading through this big uh, John Frame book and he can have his textbook and he can have his notes that he has written down and he can take the test like that. So he's getting great grades on his test, but it's not because he's doing an open book. It's because he likes this class so much that I feel like he's doing a better job in this class because he enjoys it so much and he has just loved learning about these philosophers and how they relate to Christianity and where they've gotten these ideas from. And he is just he's been writing so much about it in his in his course and he's going like above and beyond the requirements of this class just because he enjoys it so much which i think is great and i love seeing that enthusiasm out of a 16 year old high school boy so that makes my heart happy it really does so he's been talking about this class daily i highly recommend it for you and your family if anything this is a great class for you to take as an adult. I think that this is, for any Christian, this is a really good class to take. You're gonna understand a lot about um, different philosophies and ideas and religions and where these ideas stemmed from in this course. I mean, if anything, I would say pick up this book. This, The Consequences of Ideas is a fantastic book and the course videos are fantastic. I love R.C. Sproul's teaching style he has a great way of breaking down the most difficult concepts for the layman and i feel like i understand so much 
from R.C. Sproul. I really learned well with his style of teaching. I think he's he's he was one of the greatest theologians and teachers of our time. Yeah, I highly, highly recommend this class. This is a great high school elective. Look into this one through Compass Classroom. I am so impressed with it. I think my son is going to have such a ball this year. He's only six weeks into this class and already he just every day we have some kind of discussion around the dinner table. I think it's it's probably the best feeling in the world as a parent when your child finds something that they really really enjoy and it's academics. <laughs> so this is this is really the first class I've seen of his where he has just been like over the moon excited about it. So really happy that we decided to do this class. I'm excited to see what we're going to learn next. We just finished up Aristotle I think and I'm not, I honestly don't know the next one. I actually have to look at the next philosopher that we're gonna be studying this week. Super, super great material. Highly recommend it if you got high schoolers. Check out Compass Classroom. All the links for everything will be down below in the description box for you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always, happy homeschooling.